Hey, this is Nick, and I'm the creator of My Basketball Stats, which is a basketball stat tracker. And when you first open it up, it gives you a team name, and you can edit the team names. You can delete them, or you can add them, and a new team name. Usually when uh, I have a new game that's just going to start, I just go to the team name, and I have um, I usually put the coach's name in. In this case, it's Jarvis. And then I, or I might put, say, I might say YMCA and when the location of the YMCA. Uh, that's another thing I could do. Um, in this case, I'm just going to cancel that. I have some saved already. I'm going to show you March 26th here. And um, there's, um, this team actually consists of, I believe, nine or ten players. And uh, what I have here is I have their first name, their last name, and their their jersey number. And just to protect the kids, I just doubled their first name so you couldn't see what it said for the last name. Um, if I want to add a new player, just hit the plus sign. It gives me the team name already pre-populated. I just add the first name, the last name, and the jersey number. Um, but if I wanted to uh, just show you how the, the app actually works, I'd go into start tracking. And here you're going to see... Um, Couple player, a couple of buttons at the top, add players, and go back to the previous screen. Or I can go to the summary pay, summary and show you more uh, stats. This is a completed game, so everything's filled in already. But you can see here, um, at the very top, they have we have four quarters, overtime, and then total. And then each digit underneath represents the amount of points that were scored in that quarter. And then the total points here at the very last um, button. When you're recording, uh, the digit of that quarter will turn red, so you know which quarter that you're you're in. So if I went to the next quarter, it turns uh, the four turns red, so you know that you're recording for that second quarter. Um, and then in the scrolling area here, all you see all the different players and all their stats. Um, you can go right to um, I think Caden had a good game here at 19 points. You can see immediately how many uh, field goals he made, how many uh, assists uh, he, he uh, had, how many steals and, and block shots and that type of thing. Or you can hit the summary page and summary button and you can go in and see um, totals here instead of trying to find them on the, on the individual page. It also gives you the totals at the very bottom. And if I flip it to the side, it gives you even more percentage uh, stats. So um, initially on the, the first page, it'll give you 13 stats. And then if you flip it, it gives you an additional three uh, stats, which are percentages. It's really nice. You can just scroll through the players here and see how each one of them did. Or you can also go by the, the team at the very bottom. It shows you what the team stats were. Um, there's a little um, letter button here where you can email your stats to your friends, relatives, or the media if you so choose. And um, I'm going to cancel the draft here. All right. And so what I like about this, it's just a simple, easy to use um, one button tracking system. There are no um, special features other than collecting stats. And this is what this is. It's a utility app at the iTunes store, 99 cents. It does exactly what it says it does. It keeps track of stats for either one player or several players. Um, we will have some additional features that we'll be adding um, soon in upcoming uh, versions, but for right now it just does exactly what it says it does. It's extremely fast, one button clicking, um, and, uh, and it's available at the iTunes store, only 99 cents. If you do buy it, please give me a great review. I really appreciate it. This is Nick from Intense Media. Thank you very much.